In this video, you'll see how to schedule patching across multiple accounts using AWS Systems Manager automation. With this capability, you can create resource groups for your managed instances, set up automation documents to patch them, and trigger the documents to run at specified times. This blog post details the process we'll follow and includes useful code samples. You can find the blog in the AWS documentation and in the links accompanying this video. We will begin by configuring our account and setting up an automation document to patch our managed instances. To get started, let's log in to our production account. Next, let's navigate to Systems Manager. The first configuration step is to create a resource group to organize your managed instances. Note that this step must be repeated in every account you want to target. In this case, we have already identified two Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instances by using tag values. We'll enter our tag value pair here. We can preview the group resources. The two EC2 instances we tagged are listed. Let's name the group and create it. Our resource group is now displayed in Systems Manager. The next step is to set up two required AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, roles. You can find the CloudFormation templates for these roles in the blog post link for this video. For our purposes, the roles are already set up. Here you can see the automation execution role in our target account. Note that you must create this IAM role in all of your target accounts. Next, let's go to our management account to see the administrator role. Here you can see the IAM automation administrator role. Let's return to Systems Manager. The next step is to create a custom automation document. This document will be used to execute patch baseline operations. Let's open the document editor to customize the document content. Let's delete the placeholder code and paste in the code for the automation document. Create the automation. Now we can view its details. Next, let's use Lambda and Amazon EventBridge to trigger this automation document to run on a scheduled day and time. The Lambda function we create will need to be able to pass the automation admin role via the IAM pass role permission. This role will then assume the execution role in the target accounts. Let's create that function now. We'll create a new policy to give this IAM role the proper permissions. This policy will restrict our IAM role to executing the automation document we created earlier. You'll need to replace the account ID shown with that of your management account and update the ARN section highlighted here if you use a different name for your automation document. Make sure that this log group name matches the name you use for your Lambda function. Name the policy and create it. Now let's finish creating our IAM role. Filter for the policy we just created, and then select it. We will not be adding any tags to our role. Name the role and create it. Next, we'll create the Lambda function that triggers the automation. Our Lambda function will be using Python code, so let's change the runtime environment to Python 3.8. Expand the IAM execution role settings. We'll use an existing role and then select the IAM role we just created. 
Now that the Lambda function has been created, we can modify its code. Let's replace this placeholder code with our custom code. The code specifies our automation document name, resource group name, and target accounts and regions. Click Deploy to Latest to update the function. Our Lambda function is now ready. All we need is a trigger. We'll use EventBridge to trigger the Lambda function to run every third Saturday. To do this, we'll create a new rule that triggers using a cron expression. We'll enter the day and time we want our Lambda function to run. Note that cron expressions are in UTC. With the trigger added to our Lambda function, our automation document will scan for approved patches every third Saturday at 2 a.m. UTC on the managed EC2 instances and the specified target accounts and regions. Note that you can easily go back to the code and swap the scan operation for the install operation. Let's go to Systems Manager and see what happens when the automation document executes. All automation executions are listed here. Note that the dashboard shows the local time, not UTC. Let's take a look at one. You can see which accounts the automation executed in and in what regions, and the status of each step. To see the details for a step, click its step ID. In the target account, you can view the automation by selecting Show Child Automations. Click an execution ID to view its step output. You can view details about the run command from this execution. You can also view the run command output for a specific EC2 instance. Expand a step output section to view a truncated log for that step. As you can see, the instance was scanned in accordance with the automation document. You've just seen how to schedule patching across multiple accounts using AWS Systems Manager automation. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.